Hello everyone, this is RetroRizic81. And what I have here is size 13, classic leather, running shoes. They're chalk black. Well, they're, yes, they're color black, chalk white, and flag star red. I think that's how it's translated there. Made in Vietnam. Reebok. And as you know, see the size for the UK is 12, 31 centimeters, and Europe, 47 size, and 310 millimeters in Europe. Okay, what's inside is as follows as I just read to you. And now let's look inside the box. And I'm doing this for my channel to promote Reebok. I'm a fan of Reebok. Also because the Yokosuka Special Shoes are one of a kind shoes for Rizuki. And uh, they're made in Japan. There's a special, uh, special shoemaker in Japan that makes those and you can't get those anymore. Now, these ones actually remind me of the Tekken 8 video game. Um, character Jin Kazama. Look at this. Check this out. It's not why I bought them, but maybe it is partially the reason why I bought them. I don't know. I'm kind of neutral here. Both ways. All right. Let's see? Come down, I just hold it here, like so. Reebok, England. You notice they have an English uh, United Kingdom flag, and they, uh, I believe they also have an English flag, but this is like for, you know, I think for like several continents, maybe, or maybe there's some other uh, kind of definitive translation for the. Um, I would call this the British flag, United Kingdom. I'm gonna have to do my research more. Okay. Because every time I, uh, every time I'm online and I want an emoji for an uh, English flag, this will come up um, for like United Kingdom. But then there's another one that comes up for the English flag. I don't know why that is. Okay, okay, come on. Pull that out. All right. I'm gonna just get some space going here. Uh, little allergies. Change of season. Mine sniz snizzle here. Okay. About to become spring. little suede on the back see you notice this here look at that that's white suede oh yeah well this reminds me of the, the video game and it's like it's inspired by the video game these shoes almost but notice they don't they don't uh identify these shoes as you know inspired by Tekken 8 you know Jen Kazama or whatever and I just kind of you know oh uh, it's kind of like I'm re re uh, re-identifying these shoes in some manner of speaking but you know to be honest truthfully I don't know if people would even buy these shoes if they were identified like that for sure but you can kind of imagine you know maybe they're like that somehow because they make uh, his aura like a red aura and as you know I, I've described some of my history um, you 
no, with um, Inuyasha, but but that's that doesn't really mean nothing. I don't know what to think of this. Just um, maybe my opponent liked blue. Well, I'm talking about a tournament too. You know, it doesn't mean really. Um, I don't know. Maybe I'll see that guy again from the tournament. I, I really don't know. You know, I don't know if I'm going to keep competing in WKF. Um, you know, uh, there's famous actors, and I won't name who they are, but if you get, get online, you will you might find that they lost one or two bouts or matches, you could say, if that's another translation, with an opponent. And it's not something, you know, people should just, like, you know, laugh at and, you know... You know, not, you know, like, oh, you're not cool. <laughs> I, I mean, what's cool? What is the definition of cool to, to you, you know? Or to me. Or to uh, to your cat. Huh? <laughs> huh? Oh. That's something on Instagram. The cat all these cats there. See? Okay, enough about that. Now, let me just go on about these shoes. Look at the shoes. They're, uh... Um, so this video is about me and it's about the shoes. I want to make it more about the shoes and make it cool like that, but, you know, I'm kind of proud of myself. Okay. See, they've got the, the United Kingdom flag. I think that is so cool to put that on their shoes now. It's like a little emoji flag. It just came in the mail just now. Open them up. And uh they're uh you know you gotta unlace them, you gotta I mean not not unlace them unless they need to be tighter or fastened more. Cause Kansas is going bye bye, Dorothy. Fasten your seatbelt. <laughs> the tornado kick the tornado you know the tornado is what was about to get uh, Dorothy in Kansas ain't that from the matrix cypher <laughs> you know that guy cypher cypher's not not a, not a wimp huh thinking about FF8 huh Cypher. And Cypher is another Cypher. How many Cyphers we got? Okay, enough of that. Ranting, running, ranting, running, running on, run on sentence, ranting on. Well, these are running shoes, everyone. Can't stop the bum rush. I don't even know where that's from. From the 90s and 80s here. Yeah, I'm wearing Reebok uh, sandals, too. Now, look at this. Okay, so the material, let's stay on subject. Instead of running on, ranting on, like the running shoes. Classic. Classic. Running, when you run, you don't feel like stopping. Can't stop the bum rush. I remember there used to be a a, a name brand of uh, uh called Bum in the nineties that was kind of popular, and then they stopped selling their products. I don't anyone hear of Bum nowadays? Bum, <laughs> Bum, huh? Are you dumb? So now you're a Bum. <laughs> Could happen to you too. Can't stop the bum rush. Because you're a bum rush. Bum rush of Shinmu. <laughs> and you know, uh, the Reebok Newport shoes are uh, what is uh, what is the Yokosuka specials, actually. Those are. Um, those are just like running shoes because um, 
Well, you know what? To, uh, to re, uh, is this the right translation? To reiterate that? In the literal translation, is that the right one? I, I don't know. To re, uh, to, re, to, uh, to review the, what I've just said, is that the right translation? Reiterate. So you have to be smarter, have to look these things up. I don't have a Webster right near me, but... Hmm. So anyways, what I was saying, Reebok Newport shoes, okay? Reebok Newport shoes, those are... Uh, um, get the slice out here. Those are like... Um, those are what the Okoska specials are. They're Reebok... Uh, Newport shoes. And it's funny. I remember somebody asked me what kind of shoes are those you got there. Those look like Newports, huh? No Gazan, they're Marlboros. <laughs> Yeah, okay. That's where you're going, huh? <laughs> I'm kidding around, man. I'm going, I think he's going to camel. Going there on a camel. No, no, no. I don't even know what I'm saying. You know what, people? I don't take this in a literal sense between the lines, really. Because I don't know what I'm saying. And I really don't. I really, really don't. I just, you know, like, I could say, let's give another translation here. Um, um, he's going there on his, well, I don't even want to say, you know, but I just might as well say, you know, hey, a cigar, what? I, I don't know. It's all like referencing the things I don't want to reference to, honestly, but it's kind of funny because it might reference something that's right on, you know, track, right on top of things. And, and I'm not wanting to be that way. But I don't know any other brands of uh, cigarettes or, or cigars. When I think of a cigar, I think of a Cuban cigar. Oh, I'm not one to smoke. But, you know, I could be, but I'm, you know, generally like a square. I'm, I'm still in the Rio Hazuki phase. And I'm age 43. Uh, you know... You notice that Yakuza starts out in uh, 1995. Yeah. So that's what I'm all about that year. And in a manner of speaking, um, I don't know what to say about it, that, but. So this is all like the reason, let me explain this. The reason I'm talking about all these things is because these are run on shoes. No, no. That's a little, that's uh, getting ahead of myself. See, when you run, you're supposed to try to get ahead of yourself. That's why I'm purposely not staying on subject here. It's not that I can't stay on subject. It's that I am doing this on purpose because these are running shoes. Can't stop the bum rush. Notice that I'm on subject in most of my videos. Or all my videos. Well, that is true, but you have to kind of, you know, watch. You know, there's too many to watch. Got over a thousand videos on mine. And they do say the risk for brain tumor, brain cancer is 1% or less. Or less. Not sure which translation it was, but... um. It is what it is, man. Thinking honor. Thinking honor. Russell Wong. I like how Russell Wong runs to the side, sort of at an angle, and then he he jumps at another angle, off of a a, a pillar. You know, it's so hip to be squared, not like a pillar. It's like a squared rectangular one that's so 80s 90s man you know what i'm saying 
as something like from uh, The Running Sun. Wish I would have vanished sometimes, but where would I go? La da di da 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 di da 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 di da da da. Where do you go, my love? Me, my love. The I don't know the lyrics. Just don't know. But I'll go with. Um, going with these shoes because uh. <laughs> I know that they're running shoes, and I know that they're intended for running. And when I run on, get ahead of myself, what I'm supposed to do, it's like teaching something or learning something. It's like you're on the same, you know, the same equal sign, getting be a bit be below myself. Same equator, same equivalence, same um, coherence of uh, the line, the lineage. I mean, there's all kind of terms I could be using, but you want to stay within line. So like I'm trying to say is that I'm staying aligned. In other words, that's the right term, the better term, the right term. And don't get ahead of yourself because, see... And part of this may be the, the coffee talking, too. I had about three cups of coffee this morning. Oh, uh, yes. So, you know, like, okay, and this is like a 20-minute video here. It's kind of like informative and uh, referencing to, you know, some things that you will know, maybe some people will know, between these lines is just black, you know. And, you know, and so, like, this is what I'm saying. This, like I was saying earlier, you know, it kind of reminds me of Tekken 8, this, uh, the lining here. And, you know, between the lines, like, something that people are supposed to know, you know, in, in life, in generally speaking, you're supposed to just know that to, to understand something between the lines, what's, what people don't say. Okay, so it's not that, you know, when people talk like this, they're mentally sick. No, because this is taught to you, you know, by teachers. This between the lines kind of a, a mentality. It's what they use a lot in the military, between the lines. If you did not know that. You're supposed to think like this in the military a lot. And in sports a lot. What's between the lines? Was that my black belt? The one I didn't earn yet? Because, um, I'm, I don't know if I'm wanting to just accept the black belt from these teachers that, um, there's been a few teachers I have to reference, um, just in that sense that, um, there's been a few teachers that are joking around trying to give me their black belt. And I don't know, you know, really why that is. I had a, I had like a Hub Keto teacher joke around about that before, and I had a, a you know, my, you know, like a karate teacher joke around, and maybe another teacher, ones that I was training with for, you know, maybe like like a few years or a few months. One or the two or both. It's just kind of like that, you know, because uh, under certain masters, oh, I trained with this guy for a year or two, or no, I trained with him for a few months after that, after he had his own school, or um, that's that's just like uh, you know, like uh, the Sioux art too that I was training under uh, uh, Ninja, the way of the Ninja. They were saying that, oh, you're gonna be teaching this one day, Ryan. You'll be the senpai. We'll listen to you. And so, you know, there's a lot to say about, you know, these shoes. But now, let me give this reference. 
the United Kingdom is all about, um, they're all about like, uh, uh, well, well, they're always all about the martial arts. The, the martial arts in England, UK, Europe is very popular there, if you didn't know that. In America, it's not as popular to train martial arts, but in um, England, Europe, it's much more popular, the martial arts there. Um, and I mean like karate and Muay Thai, and especially karate. You don't find that karate is as popular in America anymore. Now, in England and Europe, it's very, very popular. Highly respected. Kind of like the 80s and 90s generation that I'm still stuck in. Gotta get back to the future. And maybe there's a way to do it by running on getting fit. If I sit in a seat or if I walk before I run, walk before I fly, I might find that I'm not just a nice guy. There's a fighter in all of us and the fighter in you is the fighter that wins. Isn't that poetic? Like poetic justice. Now, I know, you know what? I've gone on and on about these shoes, but let me just uh, say, okay, they're black. They look like they're navy blue in a manner of speaking. See, there you go. Black all around, white, suede. Okay. I feel like a, a lecturer, teacher somewhat. I just like to train too. And I'm Retro Zuki 81.